There have been so many rumors flying around about what's going on with the trains. Well, I'm currently stood within the ride's maintenance bay. Let's turn the lights on and uh, put some rumors to sleep. <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and welcome back to yet another Project Exodus slash Hyperia construction update. I know that the last episode that I uploaded in this construction series was not long ago at all. But as I said, now that we are coming to the end of this project, every update that I'm filming is gonna have some pretty drastic changes in it. And yeah, I've got some things to address in today's video. Obviously in that last video that I uploaded, I didn't mention the rides trains at all and there was a reason for that and i'll be addressing that in today's video and clearing up a lot of rumors that i've been hearing recently and yeah i'm also going to be showing you other updates that have been happening here on site um, other components of the ride that have been moving all building up to when this ride tests for the very first time and as i said that day is coming very very quickly so yeah today's video should be quite a quick one but as i said now that we're coming to some really exciting points in this project i'm trying to get these videos out as quickly and regularly as possible because i know i've slacked a few points during this entire series but as we're nearing the end i'm on it for you guys so yeah my first stop today is going to be the rides maintenance building So, as I'm sure you're all aware, in the last Hyperia update that I filmed, I did not mention the ride's trains at all. And there was a very good reason for that. I promise I wasn't just teasing you all. Yeah, since uploading that video and even before that, there have been so many rumors flying around about what's going on with the trains and when this thing is gonna test for the first time. Well, I'm currently stood for the first time in these updates within the ride's maintenance bay. Let's turn the lights on and uh, put some rumors to sleep. <laughs> that was very cool. But yeah, let me pick the camera up and show you what this room currently looks like. And finally, put some rumors to sleep because as you can see, the Hyperia train is not yet on the Hyperia site. This is exactly where the rides trains will be being moved to. They will sit in this maintenance bay um, where for a, a little bit of time, they'll have some checks done and the Mac engineers will do everything they need to do before the ride is then taken out the front of this maintenance bay, put onto the track. And again, there might be some checks once it's on the ride's main layout. And then after that, the ride will be able to test for the very first time. But yeah, at this point, the rumors can stop. As you can very clearly see, the Hyperia trains are not yet over at the Hyperia site. I've literally been asked every day for the, like, the past at least week or so. I've heard the trains are there. I've heard the trains are arriving today. I've heard it's testing today. Not yet. <laughs> Have some patience all will come in good time. But yeah, don't worry, everything is still very much on track for that 24th of May opening. Um, it's all just kind of small details, small kind of scheduling things, um, nothing to worry about. Do not worry, guys. But yeah, whilst I'm in here, as I said, for the first time, I thought I'd show you um, kind of how the maintenance bay for this ride's gonna work, because it's actually a really cool one, where as you can see above me, there's no track. And yet this is exactly where the trains are gonna be sitting. So of course, it's quite normal in maintenance bays for there to be like areas underneath the train where of course engineers can properly look underneath and check all the wheels for the ride and anything that they need to do. So yeah, that's why the walkways are up here where of course you can get up to that level to kind of maintain the seats restraints and all of that and the upper level of the train. But then there's also this massive area underneath where of course they can access the undercarriage of the train and do anything they need to. Now, Mac are actually a really cool company for this because, as I said, there's no track up here. The train is actually going to sit kind of on these um, steel beams, which means they're able to access the ride's wheels a lot more easier than they would if it was on track. But yeah, eventually, when they want to get take the train out of here and onto the ride's main layout, of course, these wheels will obviously push the train along and it will then go onto this specially made bit of track, which, as you can see, has this really thin um, rail here and then which then goes into the thicker rail so yeah the train will eventually come out of here and the wheels will line up and go onto the ride's main track 
um, and then it will go along the transfer track and of course onto the rise main layout. But yeah, there you go. The trains are still not yet here, but they will be very, very soon. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for a first look at those trains very, very soon. <laughs>